Well, it's impossible for me to do my intro any other way. I tried. All I can get out is hello. How is everybody today? I can't do it any different. Anyways, this is the Skylander Giants Mega Block set. Jordan was over yesterday, and this has been sitting in my closet for a couple months. I got it on clearance for a big $25. So that was not bad at all. Like I said, it's been sitting. Did not have room to display it. I do have a bit of room in my office. Man cave, whatever you'd like to call it. And yes, I still am going to do a room tour. That will probably be the next video, I think. Um... I was informed that there are some more Mega Box sets, the Flame Slinger set and the Sprocket set at Big Lots, which is a discount retailer in town. So they're only twelve dollars a piece, and I haven't seen them anywhere else. So that was really good news. So I might be doing a video of those tomorrow. We'll see, or I might just pick them up, show you I got them, and then do the unboxing another day. But the room tour is coming soon, I promise. I'll show you how everything looks displayed, but this is for the, what's it officially called? Crushers Pirate Quest. Very cool. Pretty time consuming, it's 328 pieces. So if you want to build it, you might want to have the knight to do it because it will take some time but without further ado there it is first impression the ship is a little smaller than I thought but it looks really good and I have added a few features to it and I'll show you that in a second that makes it a lot stronger sturdier one thing I noticed about mega block sets they, they kind of break easily especially when you have kids playing with them certain parts that break easily and such. So I attempted to make it stronger. So let's look at the ship first. Close up. There's a lot of great detail in this ship. And probably the coolest thing is this skeleton that hangs out on the front. I'll give it a look over this way. It is very cool. I said one of, one of the probably coolest things about the ship. Then you got the cannon. Very nice cannon, I might add. It's not like previous ones where um, uh, I don't really have one to show, but they've all been pretty much the same. This actually looks like a cannon that would be on a ship swivels all the way around and shoots very far. So that is that. That's the front. Then we got the sail, which is a very nice sail. Pretty cool. Nice detail up in the mast and the crow's nest. You can easily fit a Skyliner in there. And as we go back, has the um, fins, whatever you like to call those, and we'll do around. Would have been cool if that was printed on both sides, but I guess there wouldn't be too much need for that to be printed on that side because that's the back. Not much back here, lots of bricks. I could put something cool there and build this up a little bit, but I have not done that. This window does not go here. That was added, um, and there's some other pieces. There's other pieces that have been added as well. But what it's going to do is um, kind of make that hollow the inside, so this could be like a storage place. Open that window, door, whatever. You kind of store stuff in this middle, middle part, but. 
I do not have the right pieces. Anyways, I'll show you one of the ways that I kind of studied this a little bit. I added some pieces up here. This and all around this was added for sturdiness. Let me see. There, if you look at that, that is what, how they t tell you to build it and how it looks when you do build it. It simply has this gold piece right here. None of this is here. And when the kids were playing it with it, since there's only this piece right here, the whole thing basically falls over. This whole piece just fell over constantly. And that was extremely annoying. So it came with extra pieces. So I built all these bricks up like that. So now you cannot rip the wheel off. And it actually looks pretty good, I might add. So that's a good improvement. Pretty simple ship, but pretty cool as well. I want to get the, um, what is it? Flynn's, who oh my, can't talk. Flynn's ship next. You kind of put that next to it. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. With the pirate ship next to Flynn's. And shark fins too. I get all the ships. So this is the um, dock, I guess you'd call it for better, lack of better words. And I just noticed there's a piece missing right here in the dock. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But it works like this. I've also added a lot of features to this. Yep, and this looks a lot better than what they have. Jordan added all that stuff on there. There's the pirate flag, the lantern, nice gate to open and close, a treasure chest, there's a cake in case they're hungry, the kind of hut if you will, there's the inside of it. And there's an inside of the bottom. Now, for the additions, I will let you look at the box first. This is what and how they tell you to build it. You will notice there's not a bottom piece right here. So I had an extra piece, an extra wall piece. I'll let you look at this one more time. Look right there, where my thumb is. Had an extra wall piece, so bam. That's where it went. See how it's nothing down there? You basically can see through it. Right there. So I added that cool piece. And also this piece, this kind of curvy piece and the gold piece on top. So now you're not able to see through it. It looks more like a house, I would say. So I actually like that. It looks a lot better than just kind of being able to see through it. So you kind of have a top there and then you kind of have this bottom underneath that's closed off. And I've also added all these bricks back here this whole row kind of make it like a bench barrier something like that whatever thought that was cool added that there's a map they give you so that is that let's dock the ship buy it there's it together pretty cool set this is a much better build than the alternate directions they give you you can also build this Oh, my flash just went away. That's okay. This ugly thing. My flash on my phone went away. So it's a lot darker than it was before. And now I cannot see to show you. There we are. This was the alternate build. And I actually started building this by accident. 
And I don't know, that is just to me is extremely ugly. And the ship is much cooler, so we built the ship. So there it is without the flash. That stinks. That was a bad time for my flash to go out. That was a bad time for my flash to go out. Alright. I'll show you what most people want to see is what figures did it come with. And I guess that is probably the main reason I buy a lot of these sets are for the figures you get. And it comes with a Biclops dude. Crusher, which is cool. I do not have many giant Mega Blocks and Cinder. Which is also very cool. So that's the figures you get. Nice hammer with Crusher. You get the weapon there as well. I brought some. Where are the other guys at? Oh, here we go. Just to compare it, I have some other figures similar. I got the glow in the dark Biclops there too. So I got those two, which is cool. Cool to get those glow in the dark figures, and I also have the glow in the dark Cinder. They came in another set with the regular Cinder. So that's cool. Good variations on figures. That is always cool as well. So let's put Crusher up here. Oh gosh, he just fell out. Put Crusher up there. We'll put Biclops in his little hangout. Behind his fence. Now let's stuff him in the house. There we are. Stuffed him in the house. He's in there. He's in there. And let's put Cinder on the ship. We'll have Cinder steering the ship. Oh gosh. Crusher does not want to stay up there. Stay. So there we go. We got Cinder steering. That's just kind of off to the end now. She can't steer that well. She doesn't fit that well. But she's steering. She's trying. There you have it. Like I said, very worth getting, especially with the price I got it at on clearance. I think originally, I'm not sure, maybe 40, 50 bucks. 50 bucks set. It's one of the bigger sets from Giants. That's it. Have a wonderful day. Maybe more Mega Block sets. Maybe a room tour next week. My first Swap Force giveaway. So stay tuned for that. That's it. Have a great day. Adios.